Hi, welcome to the Short and Snappy, hosting a parent caregiver meeting. So a brief overview, this Short and Snappy is about six minutes long, and through this video you will learn how to introduce parents and caregivers to Girl Scouts, take an inventory of girls and caregivers, how to build your village, set expectations, and set up communication channels. So welcoming families and introducing Girl Scouts. This meeting is to welcome families and introduce them to the Girl Scout mission. Make name tags, introduce the leadership team, and have everyone stand and say the Girl Scout promise together. Saying the law with everyone is optional. Explain to parents that Girl Scouts is girl-led, so you will be asking the girls what kind of things they want to do. Explain there is some paperwork to complete and pass all of those out. There are several Girl Scout forms you will need with your troop. Please take the time to review the forms on our website so you know which ones you may need to have the parents' involvement in. These forms were introduced to you during your new leader training. If you need a reminder on where they are, you can access them by going to the Forms section located at the top of the page on our website, gsnc.org. Get to know the adults with an icebreaker activity. This allows you to learn what skills they possess and how they can help the troop. What do they do for a living? What are their hobbies? If there is a nurse in the group, maybe she will help lead the first aid badge. Maybe a police officer would help with the respect authority pedal. Parents won't think you need or want their help if you don't ask. Get to know the parents and what they're good at, and then ask them to help with the troop based on their skills. A personal ask like this goes much further than an email ask to all parents. Time to build your village. After getting to know the adults, don't end the meeting without asking for help. Ask for a product sales lead for fall product and cookies. You as the troop leader should not have to take that project on and run the troop. Any volunteer who wants to help does need to be a registered member with background clearances. Have the parents rotate through providing snacks. One adult can start a sign-up genius for bringing snacks to the meetings. Be clear about your expectations. Just as you committed to follow the promise in law, you expect girls and adults to do the same. Parents also need to communicate with you by answering your emails or returning your calls. They need to let you know when their daughter won't be at a Girl Scout activity and when they are taking the girls home from a meeting, trip, or camp out. Establish how you will communicate with parents and caregivers at this meeting. Let them know what the troop is doing at troop meetings and send reminders of upcoming activities. Be sure to ask for help as opportunities arise. You can email, text, use apps, and even use a closed Facebook group. Remind them that the Facebook group is not for negative speak. If they have an issue, they need to discuss that in person. So troop dues. No one likes asking for money, but you need it to operate the troop. Discuss the cost of uniforms, possible trips, and supplies you need to earn the pedals or badges the girls will choose during planning. Then decide what your dues will be based on this discussion. You can ask for one lump sum at the beginning of the year or ask for only part of the yearly dues so you can purchase supplies and then let them know you will ask again after the new year. You can decide what is best for your troop. You can ask parents and caregivers to donate old school supplies for you to use with the troop or ask them to pick up some extras at the store if they see some good sales. This could cut down on troop dues. If a family is in need of assistance, they can receive financial assistance from the council. We do not want money to be a reason a girl cannot be a Girl Scout. So closing your first parent meeting. End the meeting with parents and girls on a friendship circle. Have girls and parents make a circle, hold hands with their right hand over their left. You can sing the Make New Friends song or pass a friendship squeeze around the circle. This happens when everyone says what they are looking forward to in Girl Scouts this year or anything else you'd like them to share and then they squeeze the hand of the person to their left or right. It depends on which way you started the squeeze. Then while everyone is still holding hands, have them turn around and say, Good night, Girl Scouts, and then let go. Your meeting is now dismissed. So just a quick recap. Through this short and snappy, we hope you learned how to host a parent meeting, the best way to ask for parent help and build your village, and ways to communicate effectively. Thank you so much for taking the time to increase your knowledge as a Girl Scout troop leader. 
If you have any questions or want to suggest a short and snappy idea that's not already on our training page, please email us at customercare at gsnc.org.